when I first got the motorcycle, that was the rule of thumb. You always wore a helmet. I would always say to anybody, you know, you don't want to wear a helmet, that's your choice, but I've always wanted to. But that day, I was going to Hot Harley Nights. I was going to get my, um, all my stuff for the next day because we were going to be in this big parade, you know, um, of motorcycles. And for whatever reason, I asked her, please, I don't know why, I just feel like you need to put on a helmet. And she did. Thank God. Around 6 o'clock, he uh, hit us. I heard my mom pulling the clutch, and then she hit the gas, and then um, she kind of screamed a little bit because I didn't quite know what was going on. I was, and then I flew. She went flying 80 feet into the ditch. She wouldn't have made it. I mean, she said she hit her head. Ended up flying 80 feet that day. She got drugged about a few yards with the bike on the pavement right on the asphalt between the grass and the street and she was screaming. I don't remember that whole day and when she was in the ditch she said mom I tried so bad to get up but she said I couldn't because my leg was broke. You know I could feel it um, it was just kind of moving around in there and all I could hear is my mom screaming and I couldn't see her. My neighbor that lived um, by me was on the volunteer fire department. He just happened to be like three cars behind us when this happened. And before I know it, the cops were there and um, hearing them saying air back and everything like that and they won't tell me how my mom is. And I still struggle because she still has nightmares about me yelling for her to help me and she couldn't. And I really don't laugh much anymore because I, I, I pay attention to every single car because I'm always alert, you know. I felt like I took her youth away from her because she was 18 when it happened, you know, and I'm like, it's all my fault for taking her youth away from her. When I first started with Safe Step, you know, I kind of learned about the Safe Step Cares program. Um, I kind of thought, you know, that might, she might be a good candidate for this. And so I, I asked a few of her friends and they kind of gave me some information. And then the more information I found out, the more it was like, yes, she would be. <laughs> this is something that would really be great for her. Dave Myrick, our sales guy, came with us with another extraordinary story. Um, not only did it benefit one person, but two. And we said, you know what? We know that we're going to help people's lives. So Safe Step Cares. Um, when when I was first approached with it, I was excited. I thought it was a great you know great program. After actually being there on site through the four that I've been on, um, I am really proud to be involved in the program. Um, as a representative of Safe Step, that's it's it's done a lot for me, honestly. As far as you know how I look at things now and then the different stories and and things like that so um, just really honored to be a part of it. can't put pressure on my leg you know it's pretty sensitive I have some dead spots I have quite a bit of nerve damage in there. If it's gonna be uh, 30 degrees or even less outside we're both laying in our beds because the metal in your leg is just excruciating to walk on. Softball I mean that was my thing growing up you know I played it ever since I was eight years old and now I can't play shortstop my position because I can't go left right away you know. That I think was the, my biggest devastation knowing that I wouldn't be able to play softball anymore knowing that I wouldn't be able to ride my motorcycle anymore because I love doing that. You know it, it's kind of funny I go out to people's homes every day and I, I tell the safe step story to people and they buy. Here, I told Val's story to Safe Step, and Safe Step bought. When was your last bath? <laughs> Tomorrow morning. <laughs> a year and a half ago, probably, you think? Shut the door. Shut the door. Okay. Shut the handle for your leg. See how there's jets on the floor? Yeah. And then there's jets right behind your legs. <laughs> so yeah, you can direct you know, the pressure, and even if you have it on all of them, you can say, I want to be at 75 on my back. Buttons are on and off. There's nine different lights. Okay. Thank you, it is never, um, I mean, what, what else can you say, but thank you is not, not. That's plenty. Yes. That's plenty. I'm glad we could help. So. And I'll be calling you in a month and asking you how you feel and see if you're doing better. And that's, this is a nice moment.
But what really is, is a greater moment is when I talk to you in, in a month or six weeks and you tell me you're feeling better, you're sleeping better. And Thank you. My pleasure to be there. Nice to meet you. Yeah, glad we can help you guys. Make me feel back. Give me a hug. Good to, good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. These are always exciting to give these things away because uh, the reaction on people's faces is, is incredible. That someone's going to do this for them that they can't do for themselves. I was just asking my mom the other day, I said, Mom, when is the last time I took a bath? Because I, I really don't even remember. I'm excited. I'm excited to see uh, how it works and the colors and the aromatherapy and whatnot. I mean, the jets are pretty cool, hopefully. Um, I know her and I both have a little bit of problems with the tension in our back calf, so that uh, jets and the lower, you know, just how you can feel a little bit will be real nice and will, like, kind of break down that scar tissue and help her feel a little bit more relaxed. That's what I'm just hoping. Not being able to get into a bathtub, not being able to soak in warm water, just is incomprehensible to me. So in this case, just to be able to see both the daughter and the mother be able to get in the bath and have that comfort, is it's an awesome feeling. Being able to uh, take a bath to some people, I think that no one really thinks about it. But if you take that away from somebody, um, it, it's a it's a huge it's. It's a change in your life. I mean, it's, I definitely appreciate it. I mean, they did an amazing thing, and it's what, uh, it's what people should do more often, you know. They should really just help. I, we believe in safe step cares, and there's not a better feeling than to help someone, to give them some hope in life, and to know that somebody really cares. Very proud to be able to do this. I'm very just grateful that, that we can do something like this to help families. Find a way to help them get some of that pain relief out of it, you know, is, is just a really uh, warm feeling for me um, that we can help her. It's just, it's just an amazing thing that, that uh, we can do to help people and um, that's, I'm really proud to be a part of it. I won't ever want to get out of there. So, I mean, <laughs> so it's amazing all the stuff that it does. I can't b believe it. I know that I'll be in less pain now, you know, just from being able to sit in a tub. How do you say thank you enough? I mean, you, I mean, I just don't think that you can ever thank anybody enough um, for what, they, what they're gonna do and what they have done, you know?